everybody, this is Randy with Carchaeology, and I want to introduce you to Mog the Myers Manx. So this car has a name, and its name is Mog. And it was named Mog by its original builder, a gentleman by the name of Craig. Now Craig built this car in January of 1968. Craig lived down on Balboa Island in the Newport Beach area of Orange County, just a couple miles away from Bruce Myers' shop. And he bought this kit directly from Bruce, and it is what is called a pre-tag Manx. It's one of the first 150 Myers Manxes built, and this one is about as virgin and original as you will ever possibly see. Everything you see on this car is as it was in 1968 when it was built. So Craig built this in the driveway of his house there on Balboa Island. And then he uh, he started it in January of 1968. And by April of 68, he had it up and running and licensed and on the road. In September of 68, he and his girlfriend hopped in this car and they drove to Baja. They did a roughly 2,000 mile round trip in the car. Uh, down to La Paz. Uh, they photographed the whole trip. Uh, here's the original travel insurance sticker from September of 68 in the windshield. And then they repeated that trip in 1969 and went to a different area of Baja. Uh, the seats are out of a, um, I believe they're out of a Triumph uh, or an Austin Healey. Yeah, that's right. Austin Healey. And those were the seats that he put in it originally there in 1968. The old aircraft seat belts are also original to the car. The original turning brake that is basically a modified version of the factory parking brake allows you to lock rear wheels individually. Uh, the Secura wood rim steering wheel is also original to the car. It's got a nice little Porsche crest there as well. There's also a Porsche uh, shift knob that he installed as well. And this extremely rare cast Myers Manx gas pedal. Uh, there's a little uh, compass here that he installed as well. This car has been authenticated. It is in the registry as an original, genuine Myers Manx. And Bruce himself has blessed it with his signature on the back. Uh, this car is fairly well known in the Myers community. It's a car that has come back to me twice or through me twice. When I first saw this car, it was about 18 years ago and Craig was still the owner of the car. And he brought it to me to sell for him through the oldbug.com website. And he brought all the original documentation with the car and told me its whole story. And it absolutely blew me away how original and untouched and, and the incredible condition that it was in. And at the time, it sold to a collector back east. It went to New York, and it sold for an absolute record price for the time. And then about six years later, uh, that owner, Mark, decided to sell it again. And it again sold for a record price through our website, oldbug.com. And earlier this year, the car popped up again uh, for sale, and it was back in New York. So the car has been well-traveled. It's been from coast to coast a couple of times, but when I saw it, I knew I absolutely had to grab it. Throughout all my years of dealing with vintage VWs and dune buggies, this is the most original one that I have ever seen. Not only is the condition in excellent original shape, that is the original gel coat, original interior, all the original details, but its documentation is absolutely mind-blowing the travel stickers from the trips to mexico are there the map that they used for that trip including all of the stops that they made there's photographic documentation of their trip as well and their travels the tri-phase air cleaner that's on the on the rack here to hardware to the fire extinguisher all of the goodies were documented and all of that documentation comes with it as well. Uh, the little shovel here in the back is the original one with the car. Uh, the toolkit, US uh, 
backpack here. This has not only an idiot book in there for showing you how to fix the car, but it's got a really awesome tool roll. It's got a tow rope. Uh, some small spares are in there. And this piece was actually separated from the car for about 15 years. Uh, and I managed to hunt it back down through the second owner of the car and get it back here with the car, as well as a tow bar that bolts on to the front axle beam. You can see the mounts for that right down here. So that tow bar is also with it. It's got the original Dietz headlights. You can see the marking right here. Maybe this side is a little bit clearer. These Dietz 820s were, you know, the original light made in New York, a U.S. light. Down here, the turn signals are Lucas. This is a glass lens, a British um, manufacturer. Uh, the gas uh, in this, this uses a very large diameter um, VW cap through the center. Uh, the Taubo mirror on here is also an original made in Berlin item. I mean, everywhere you look is some sort of original detail that really sets this car apart from many of the others that I've seen. Uh, even on the uh, windshield, it's Sigla is the brand. You can barely make that out there. Anyway, it's a phenomenal buggy, and it's really a fun one, not only to look at, to drive, and to have a bunch of fun with, um, but it's also, it's a time capsule. It shows exactly what these cars were built like back in the day, and it's the genuine article that was built back in the day with every bit of documentation to prove it. And it's a it's a neat car. It really, really, truly is. Uh, over the years, as I've watched some of these cars come to market and that sort of thing, every time I see another one sell for some sort of a, a reasonably solid price, I go, well, God, it just doesn't hold a candle to mod. I think if there were ever a dune buggy to be in the Smithsonian, other than Bruce's big <laughs> old red, um, it would probably be this one or one like it. Now, I'm sure there's other original buggies out there that are documented and well-kept, um, but in my years, this is the best one that I've ever found. And I really wanted to share it with all of you guys. This car is going to come to market here in the new year, and watch for announcements on that. There will be an opportunity to purchase this car in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around of MOG. Oh, the engine. I should probably dive into that engine. Check out some of the details on this. The Wyand uh, valve covers. That's something I've not seen before. Uh, you've got the dual Weber carbs here with the oil bath air cleaners. It's got a Bosch 010 distributor. Uh, it does have an alternator. There are a few chrome details, such as the oil filler, some nuts and bolts on there. I do need to detail this engine up because I was out playing in the dirt because that's what you do. But uh, that engine not only is all original to the car, it is extremely strong and is a blast to drive. So this is indeed a true time capsule of what the Myers Manx buggies were like back in the 1960s. It's a genuine article from front to back, every little bit of it documented. It's all original, unrestored, original gel coat, documented, signed by Bruce, all the original interior bits. I mean, this thing is as pure as I have ever seen when it comes to an original Myers Manx. And it's in incredible condition. Runs and drives awesome. It's way fun. It's a little dirty from my blast through the 
uh, yard of the house there. But, uh, you know, when you got a car like this, you can't, can't just wipe it with a diaper. You gotta go out and play with it. 